Okay. So we we'll look at the next drug. This is what is known as uh, the beta metasone uh, dipropionate. Right? Beta metasone dipropionate. So for this beta metasone dipropionate, we said that it's a synthetic glucocorticoid. Alright, it has a potent anti-inflammatory activity and also some immunosuppressive properties. Okay. So it's commonly used in dermatology because you want to now treat what corticosteroid um, responsive skin conditions. Okay. So what's the key pharmacological feature? We said that it actually penetrates the skin, binds to the glucocorticoid receptors. This will now alter gene expression. So it will reduce inflammation by doing this, right? So it inhibits the production of inflammatory mediators like prostaglandins, cytokines, right? So this will now what? Take your immune system on the low side, all right? Also suppress the immune system. Also decrease fibroblast proliferation. So therapeutic use can now be used in treating all those skin conditions that are related to what? Inflammation, like the eczemas, the psoriasis, the dermatitis, okay? Then what? Okay, so it's anti-inflammatory and anti pruritic actions. Make it suitable for reducing redness, swelling, and itching of the body, okay? So, um, administration is typically given as a cream, an ointment, okay? Ointment cream, okay? Or it can be given as a lotion typically so the concentration and frequency of application just depend on the severity of the condition you are trying to actually well, tackle side effects it can cause what skin atrophy that skin thinning loss of elasticity of the skin mild depigmentation and increased susceptibility to um, infections right so that's just it for what better methasone dipropionate